Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for Friday, October, um, April, excuse me, 19, 2024. We're going to first start off with the national picture, and then we're going to go into Storm Prediction Center in terms of storms, as well as the National Weather Service hazards for the day and the week here for the lower 48 United States. If you're not a member, please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest interpretation of weather in the lower 48 and sometimes beyond the United States. I appreciate your support of the Weather Guru's channel, and I do read all comments. Please leave comments and suggestions as needed. Uh, right now, looking at the National Weather Service local radar, I mean, the national radar out here with the precipitation turned on you can see that the cold front has advanced through uh the interior ohio valley and has moved over toward the i-95 corridor on the way on its way exiting off the coast of the atlantic uh let's bring over showers of course in the um i-87 corridor from the canadian border all the way through albany the capital district and down through new york philadelphia washington dc baltimore and into richmond virginia these showers will continue to be pesky nuisance showers but there also will be clouds no severe weather indicated with these showers at all these just garden variety showers out west, we have uh, a brief snowstorm. So if you're coming on I-76 heading into Colorado from Nebraska into Denver area, be prepared for some light snow showers from Denver to Boulder up US-36 and up towards uh, Fort Collins and those areas as well. Nothing crazy. Now, we also have some showers that are extending up into uh, the Dakota. Some light snow showers could be possible up there toward the Canadian border. Nothing crazy, but just to make you mindful of that as well. And down south, we have some showers on the Gulf Coast here with a boundary here. Extending from Dallas, Fort Worth, down to Austin, the Houston, the Texas Triangle, over towards Shreveport and Beaumont, Texas, and Lake Charles as well. And then along the Gulf Coast there from New Orleans down to the Panhandle of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, there could be some showers impacting that area from today and tomorrow and the Saturday. So on Prediction Center... Of course, now we have the today's outlook gives you that marginal risk for severe weather. That's a one out of five there. Um, into uh, places like Birmingham. If you're coming on I-20 from Birmingham to Atlanta, making that journey, and we're going up I-75 from Atlanta, Chattanooga through Knoxville, and into uh, southwestern Virginia. Be very careful. There is a marginal risk of one out of five. Not very high, but there's still a risk of storms, convective storms that could produce, you know, small penny-sized hail and some gusty winds up to 50 miles an hour, under severe limits, of course. Now, everywhere else is just general garden variety thunderstorms. That area encompasses a large area from the Texas Panhandle all the way through the uh, the um, Tennessee Valley and up through the Mid Atlantic here as well, and there's also a, uh, a, there's general thunderstorms in the Rocky Mountain Front Range um, area as well, west of Denver, and also in the Sierras, um, High Sierra country there. So that's what we're looking at for the day one severe weather outlook here. But um, so marginal risk once again that includes big cities like Charlotte, Atlanta, Raleigh, Durham, Columbia, South Carolina, Greensboro, Birmingham, Alabama, Macon, Georgia, um, and those areas up there, and even closer to Roanoke, Virginia. So that's what we outlook for your marginal. So we got going on. Uh, as far as the National Weather Service hazards go, we just have that big zone of freeze warning here in the purple here. So if you're in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Albert Lake, Rochester, um, Minnesota, Des Moines, Iowa, Dubuque, Iowa, the Quad Cities, uh, be prepared, and also Omaha, Nebraska, be prepared prepared for some freeze frosty and frost for saturday morning as you continue on as some cold air is seeped in the jet stream is dipped south and that's going to bring in that cold air there for your area as well and then we also have some freeze watch for the oklahoma panhandle so if you're in enid and some of those areas on the panhandle and also northern texas there north of Am uh, amarillo and papa texas there is a freeze watch in effect for your area colorado has a brief pur purple winter weather advisory once again for those snow showers that i showed you on the radar from fort collins to boulder um, Colorado up US 36 and I 25 North. Be very careful. Some slick spots may be on the road. And then there's a red flag warning for dry conditions from Trinidad, Colorado to the west of Pueblo there. Um, some dry conditions. That's all we have for hazards. So pretty good today on hazards. Nothing really crazy going on. Um, you know, it's pretty quiet for the rest of the country. It's either cloudy, cool, or down south you're baking in Florida. Temperatures in the 90s as that continues in, in, uh, in the Panhandle and on southern Florida as well toward Miami and Miami Beach. So this has been your update for the Weather Guru. Thank you very much for joining me on this day. Have a great weekend.